everything ready to go just park the tent and starting day four two to go it's eight o'clock again it seems that a light start is my thing on this walk And here, by the empty telephone box, we have to turn and start climbing. Looks like nursery. Oh, this hill is a killer, and I'm only halfway through. But look at this. Just passing the farmhouse. And this area opens. Steady slow incline. Short break before next stage of climbing. And I have to tell you I'm sweating like crazy. You can see by my glasses. I'll show you around. Low clouds. Uh, that's my pot. Now on the path, following the <coughs> following the stream. Not quite following, actually. I'm going in opposite direction, but along the stream. Looks like I have a fan club. The road continues just below the cloud level. I hope it will rise up. I'm walking the cloud, but really nice big hills around. So according to the map, one of them is Craig and uh, Bailey. Of course I'm butchering. The other one is that one. I won't attempt to read it. So this one 888 and this one 759 meters. Not too bad. And I'm and I continue to walk uh, along this valley. What not to like here? Now you're talking. Look at this, what a day, I'm so glad I, I decided to go this extended route because it doesn't disappoint and I'm just 7 kilometers in. 
and now there's 30 to go and then last bit to pit Lofi but that's tomorrow I'm at the highest point of first today's climb so I think you deserve 360 just amazing here and what's surprising to me there is a house here just great so after passing this house the <coughs> type of the path changes to the little grassy and wet one it's a bit tricky to find a way uh, from the house because it disappears in the grass it's uh, quite a change so don't pass the house just turn left at the house but the weather is crazy today There's a digger working in the farm. Can you believe? It's actually somebody's office. That's 15 kilometer of my hike. And look at the weather. Just crazy. It's second half of September in Scotland. The downside of this weather is that I'm overheating. I checked weather forecast before I went and it said that it's possible frost during night time. So I prepared, I took a, a appropriate quilt and I'm overheating at night. The nights are uh, so warm and windless that that my tent is like a sauna. And today's weather, well, that's uh, that's a blessing and a curse. I don't complain. At least the views are amazing and stream is every 200 meters, that's fine. Halfway of today already. I'm looking for a place to pitch the tent. I'll dry it out and maybe have a nap during the hottest time of the day and then con continue till the dusk. Look at these beauties. That means that autumn is already here. So I'm passing this farm ground and I'm blessed with the shade of the trees. So so great to have a break from the sun. I can't believe I, I'm saying it. <clears throat> right, and I'm start, starting another climb. I hope... I hope that before that I'll be able to stop for lunch. <sighs> That's the plan. Look at that, this is crazy, crazy cool. 
my lunch break spot. Can be better. So that's <coughs> that's a tricky bit because you go this almost highway and suddenly you have to join this goat path and apparently that's the way I hope I really hope we'll see thought it would be a lake. It looks more like a bog. Maybe because it's so dry. Looks like this is the lake from the map I was talking about. But I can see the sign. No swimming. Wow. No worries. I didn't want to. Another lake. And see another one <coughs> at distance, but I have to focus on walking because the path is very narrow, sometimes just for one foot. Oh, yeah, oh, that looks like a big swamp. No chance, I will, I will go through this place with dry feet but the day is beautiful I'm having great time here so according to the track I have and sometimes using it to check the, uh, if I follow the path it shows that I should go through the middle of this bog but well it doesn't seem right really I don't want to drown here so I'll go around it looks it looks much better you've seen enough of rubber way to have an idea how it looks like and how attractive it is. I intend to say that it's uh, the best Scottish trail. Even better than West Highland Way. Having this in mind, guess how many hikers I've met on my way. father and son and I'm not even sure if they were walking rubber way and that's it maybe that's maybe it's because of the time of the year but it's amazing after living behind the marshes and the valley this area opens oh, and I can feel breeze again it's good it's still hot so any form of cooling is appreciated the boat and this water is called Lohan Amuling something about that And by the way, I'm walking on a proper road again. Yeah, it's a fishing hut. So now I'm doing the part which sends, I struggle to see. It's basically 10 kilometers of road walking. No special views. Even the hotel which supposed to be uh, on the way 
is uh, rebuild it. So, well, to be honest, uh, quite pointless from my perspective. But well, anyway. So now we'll walk along the lake on the other side. I hope the I hope that the, the thermal will switch to um, some more friendly route. The day is ending and I'm reaching the place I would like to use as my campsite. Hopefully it's possible. So as you may see, I'm in tent already. Not exactly <coughs> at the spot I, I thought about. But also not too bad. Nothing spectacular, but will be good enough for this last night of rubber way. It was very interesting stage. Um, the beginning was breathtaking. One of the best I walked. Middle part quite boggy. And the last bit, last 10 kilometers, that was total disaster. It was pure road walking. It was very good work so far, but I'm happy it's ending. Okay, no more talking. Time to eat something and go to sleep. Good night and speak to you tomorrow.